Hello, it's Wednesday. It's Chaplin's Chaps time. Nice. I always say that like there's another series that I might have released on the channel, but there's not. There's just this one. Because I'm a busy boy, okay? Doubt. Got lots of things and stuff going on. And I've also realized there's some different settings on my camera, which I didn't know about beforehand. Nobody cares. Learn something new every day. One thing I don't learn is how to stop wasting coins. It's like, hey, look, there's some packs in the store, but oh, I try and open it. I have things to do. <laughs> First thing I did was one of the uh, the showdown objective cards. Uh, this Rasso for uh, Liga F Real Madrid. I just thought right wing, right mid, Cam, Aussie, so links to Carpenter when we bring her back in, if we bring her back in. Agility and balance 94, 95, stamina 98, and has got everyone's favourite just now with a whipped pass plus. So, I don't know, could be worthwhile giving a bash to. But I also went and did the base hero player pick again. Let's just have a quick look at this and see what we got. You know something? Carvalho, not too bad at all. Let's be fair, we're not taking Donovan. Carvalho's got Anticipate Plus. Yeah, pretty easy. How much is he actually worth just now? 40k, so not exactly loads, but I'll take an 88 rated card. I actually did it for free with a bunch of fodder I had dotting around the club anyway, so. In addition to that, I've got a couple of packs here. Let's just open those and I'll show you if we get anything decent. Damn, got excited. Well, apparently I didn't tell my face. 86 rated. Going for about 10k just now. I don't actually, oh, I'll keep them in the club for now. And an 83 plus times two to wrap it up. Brazilian centre back, it's Thiago. Silva. But the big thing, obviously last episode we spoke a lot about uh, evolutions that were happening just now, and there's more going with them again. So, the founder was there, pitch commander was there, dribbling sensation, but we now also have budding starlet. Now this is obviously, it's a much lower rated one, so it's max 77, so the idea being that you can, you know, evolve some lower level players. 77 is the highest rated, so like Ryan Fraser could go into it. Uh, we would end up with an 85 rated Fraser, who's only two stats shy of uh, Hulut Gang, to be fair, and looks decent. 99 agility and balance for both. Stamina is horrendous. Good pace, eh, finishing. Could be a decent option, but Mr. Harness is also available and would put him up to 84 rated. Again, the issue I've got is you look at those stats. They're not amazing, but it's quite tempting. Because if I put him into one of them, you can actually do this one twice. And they're both free. Williams or Leaf Davis could go into the other one. Williams will go up to 80 rated, Leaf goes up to 78. One other option. Now, the unfortunate thing is I only have his Oxford card, but Kyle Edwards is still an Ipswich player, he can actually go into it twice. So I could put him into this one to get him to 72, and then he's still eligible to go back into it again to put him up to an 80 rated player. So that brings a bronze card back up to ish usable. I think we put Harness into one. We do we do want to give Harness a boost. Right now he's a 76 rated and he doesn't really have much in the way of opportunities to get a game for us because of that lower rating and 93 pace, 87 shooting, 80 passing is pretty solid for him. I don't know, it's a tough one. Oh, there's just too many options. Sorry, I took a brief pause there to go and look at alternatives and things and stuff that I could do. We'll confirm exactly what we're doing with these in the next part of the video momentarily. All right, final part of Wednesday's video and my brain hurts. That sounds like a you problem. I've been doing a lot of looking into what to do for evolutions and I think I've finally settled on what's happening. So we're going to lock those in and I've got a pack to open. Another one. Well, technically three. First off though, you'll see on screen now, Trek Artista time is done with Mr. Hurst. So I can claim the evolution for that lovely jubbly. He now goes up to a 70 rated card. Delightful. I can't lie. He is insanely sluggish to use in game, but to hell with it. He can now go into our FC founder and he'll go up to a 72 rated. So that's going to be the next one that we're working on for him. It's it's play five games and then win three games. It's, it, it's not hard. That's what she said. So that's what he's going into for this one. Once he's done with the founder, he can then go into dribbling sensation, which will boost him up again to a 74 rated, hopefully making him slightly less sluggish. We also have obviously available to us the pitch commanders and this team of the week upgrade one that's come out. Oh look, you can get a Katie McCabe to 88 rated. Pfft. Catch up, already got one. What I'm interested in is my budding starlets. Now, I hummed and had over this, but I have finally decided that yes, Marcus Harness is going into one of them. He will go up to an 84 rated card, 99 agility, 97 balance, 93 pace, uh, 90 shot power, 88 finishing. Gonna be a decent little winger for us. So Harness is getting one and for the next one, now again, I could have, there was likes of uh, Kyle Edwards, Cameron Humphreys and stuff, I could have put into this twice to get them up to like 80 rated, 80, um, I, could, I just, 
I thought, I've already started on some, I might as well work on them. But there is one player who does deserve, to me anyway, to get put into this. Fraser was an option, but he's way, 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 way lacking in stamina. And I want another solid defender, so I'm not putting in Williams, because he has a man new shirt on in his image. Plus, his stamina won't be good enough. So guess what? Our other budding starlet that will now go up to 78 rated is going to be Leaf Davis. Boom! All evolutions locked in, all Ipswich players that we're running so far. So again, we're building up towards this. I'm gonna have a fully evolved Ipswich team at some point soon, where that's all I'm gonna be taking into champs. And again, with champs, I will be attempting to qualify this weekend. Stop laughing. But as always, I can't resist the IQ test packs. So yes, I've gone and done the 87 plus campaign mix. Let me first open these two that I got from doing it. Mario Rui. Oh look, he's a dupe. Never mind. He goes on the transfer list. And there's a premium mixed anything from you. Probably not. Anglais, right back. Ah, oh, unless it's a tr no, nope, it's a Wambasaga. Never mind. Gonna wrap up Wednesday's video with this 87 plus campaign mix pack. There's tons of awesome stuff you could get. Again, Mbappe's an option. How about new? Let's just crack it open and see what we get. I would take a Cancelo. It's not a Cancelo. It is that Mares? Okay, I mean, 86, isn't he? Oh, he's 87. 87 rated Mares. Am I ever going to use him? No. What was he actually selling for? I think he was decent at one point, but yeah, he's 20, He's 22k. He's 20k. I, five star skill moves doesn't benefit me in the slightest because I'm not a skill player. I'm not, I don't do skill moves. Ah, well, that'll be fodder for another thing at some point. Anyway, there we go. That'll do things for Wednesday's video. Friday, you will see me potentially attempting to qualify for champs or you might just see me raging and kicking off about it afterwards and we'll have some dev rivals rewards to open as well happy hump day enjoy the rest of your week see you in a couple of days Mwah. peace love you back.